the Red October. Today is Wednesday, August 31st. I'm going to try to wrap this up in about three, four minutes. The previous video I made was too long. So good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, as you can see, the title is uh, USA Then versus Now. And I was thinking about this on the way to work. Um, I was listening to talk radio. Uh, a lady called in saying that she got hit and lost two different vehicles both times hit by uh, illegal immigrants um, no insurance no driver's license um, and it made me think about the acceptability or the acceptance that we um, take in this country of people that do wrong uh, instead of doing right um, somebody rapes somebody somebody kills someone someone robs someone somebody does wrong in life and it impacts another individual we are quick to defend that individual of of wrongdoing instead of saying instead of holding holding them accountable and saying you you did that you pay for it you serve your time you pay your dues and then you can move on it's always well it, my dad wasn't in my life or i grew up poor or um, you know I didn't have opportunity because I was black or brown or whatever I was a minority of some other descent um, excuses can be a recipe for disaster long term for an individual you keep making excuses for a person or persons a group uh, you end up with um, that ongoing of uh, well we always have to help them and you know they need that assistance um, I look at college uh, students and and the concept that we live in today is everybody goes to college you're dumb as a rock you get to go to college just apply for a loan you'll get some grants and you get to go to I think about the uh, America that I grew up in and and I was born in the 70s my childhood was most of the 80s which I think the 80s was awesome and you look at 80s movies then I want you to do this if, if anyone's into movies or has time pick one or two of your favorite 80s movies and you look at those movies then and you look at movies today you will see obviously a difference in picture but you will see a difference in in just the way the actors portray their characters um, whether it's action or drama you look at those movies you look at movies from the 50s the 40s 50s and 60s you look at movies today big difference you can see the America then versus now and I'm not talking about cowboys and Indians I'm talking about lifestyles how we used to live we used to take pride in being an American we used to take pride in and saying God bless we used to take pride in you know being patriotic for the for this country that concept seems to be lost somewhere somehow I don't know why and I'm going over my three minutes I apologize the frustration of um, and 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 I've and I've heard this before is I like the America that we live in today I wouldn't want to live in that that America that you lived in or for folks that are close to my age maybe they like America now because the opportunity is a lot better today versus it was 20 30 years ago and I and and I would say to this what have we given up along the way to get to where we're at today traditions values respecting your neighbors your fellow man being a proud American and paying your dues paying your dues from putting time into work putting your experience in um, if you do if you do wrong you make up and do right it's it's always a concept of hey I did wrong walk away from it don't say nothing just just go away it'll 
No, guess what? The person that's affected by that, they have to fix it and they have to figure that out. I don't know. It's just something I was thinking about America then versus now and uh I don't know if it's I don't know if we're getting better, folks. I don't know if um I mean, life goes on, right? The show must go on and we must still be Americans and and do everyday work and all, but this country is definitely not not what it used to be. And I don't know if the millenniums today, how they're going to feel 10, 15, 20 years, 30 years from now, <clears throat> when that next generation comes along and uh, changes it up. I don't know if we're going to need an SHTF to kind of reset the clock and remind us of where we used to be. Remind us of all those values we've given up. All the values we've given up for today. And I see it in people every day. The the uh, the thinking, the notion is, I got to get mine. I don't care about them. I got to get mine. Instead of saying, you know what? Let's do right here by our fellow man. Something to think about, guys. Take care. Red October out.